point in time, IMS responded to the scene and pronounced him deceased at the scene. Um, it's, it's sad for the family who are here on the scene, and it's very important to everybody that might have seen something to contact us at 262 Tips. As we know right now that a vehicle pulled up along the roadway as they were walking and fired a shot out of the vehicle. Um, we don't have an accurate description of that vehicle at this time, so detectives, homicide detectives responding are gathering that information as we speak. Any connection to the other shootings from the weekend? No, no we don't believe so at this time. It appears to be an isolated incident. You say juvenile, how young are we talking here? Uh, almost an adult. We had saw that there was someone else like in the squad car or anything like that. Was he possibly walking with anyone else or do you guys have anyone detained or anything? We don't have anyone detained at this time. At this time he was walking with a friend and that person is speaking with uh, homicide detectives trying to get, give them as much information as possible. Were they hit at all? Injured at all? Not that I'm aware. Uh, we, at this time they're still gathering that to make sure that we can get an accurate description out. We don't want to put any type of a false description and then have to change it later. Has all the family been there? Um, I believe there is family on the scene right now. Um, and as I said, you know, try to respect their wishes and until they can notify their entire family. You know, the coroner will be placed on that task. Well, we've seen you a lot over the past 12 hours here. Um, I think this is like the fifth in, you know, the past, you know, this weekend. Um, I don't know. I mean, how do you, what, what do you make of that? I mean, that's just a, that's a lot of violent activity in, in a short amount of time here. It is. It is a lot of violent activity in a short amount of time. And the only thing I can talk, express to people is, one, start communicating. Start talking to each other rather than using guns to communicate. Stop, you know, being selfish. Think of what happens, not just to the person that you're having this disagreement with, but the consequences that come with that. Look at the family members and how they grieve for the loss of their loved ones. Look at their friends. Look at their own life and think about that. So make, always try to make wise choices. And to the community, if you see something, say something. If you've seen something about, you know, one of the incidents that occurred in the last 24 hours, please contact 262 Tips and give them that information. We want to help the community as much as helping them help themselves. For law enforcement, I mean, is that taxing to have to, I mean, it's a lot of loss of life. It is, and it's hard on not just, you know, the community, it's hard on the detectives. They are working around the clock. Uh, the detectives that took runs last night are still working right now, and they have not gone home. This is, affects a lot of people. We've had five people shot and killed in the past 24 hours. Any additional patrols out this way? Any extra emphasis being put out here? At this time, I, I don't have anything to add to that. I know, you know, the officers, their their awareness is heightened right now, and so they are, you know, continuing to do their job the best they can. Well, it seems like it's pretty spread out, too. It's not necessarily concentrated in one area, or has it been? Uh, we have a lot on the same district, but there are different areas of that district, so we don't believe any of them are connected. Yeah, this is just separate incidences going on. Is it the same detectives working these, these, these same cases, or is it? Yeah, I know it's all during their same shift almost, it seems like. Yeah, it is. seems to be like it is during their same shift. However, you know, these are our detectives from different shifts that have been coming in. We had detectives from, you know, the day shift come in early last night to assist. And again, you know, the middle shift detectives are coming in and assisting right now. Each case gets their you know, own detective assigned to it, and then the other ones assist them. We're just getting here. Can you just kind of tell us uh, kind of what's happening here? You know, right now, just just before 3 o'clock, officers responded to a person shot um, on 3400 Franklin, Ave, Franklin Road. They located a male, a juvenile male, shot one time. Um, at, right now, all we know is that a vehicle pulled up as, they were, as two, two gentlemen were walking down the street fired a shot out of the vehicle, striking one of the uh, young men. You said juvenile, do you know if it's a teenager or younger than a teenager? It's a uh, almost adult. adult. And you thought this is the, the fifth person dead within the last 24 hours. Can you just talk about the string of violence that's been going on with, uh, this weekend? 
I can't recap everything that's been going on, and right now we don't have additional information on all that. I can say that the detectives are working hard, and as we just got done talking about, you know, they continue to work hard. These guys haven't gone home yet. They're, they're still working. I know I've seen a lot of you in the last 24 hours. I, I myself have had limited sleep. They have had limited sleep, but these guys are still putting every, every effort they have out there for the victims. Any word for the community? A lot of people are talking just about the violence. Anything you want to say to the community about this happening? It's very important that if you see something, say something. Be prepared to, you know, step up and protect your community by saying something to the police when they see something happen. Speaking of protecting the community, how does this make you feel as a police officer to see all this violence go on? It's sad. It's sad that we have to see this violence, but we keep working hard to try to make this community better. So I guess it's, we're currently looking for a suspect here right now? Right now, you know, as, as I spoke to him before, the um, detectives are gathering information from witnesses right now as we speak. So they're going to try to gather the most accurate information possible. Do we not have any description of the vehicle or anything? Like that? Not yet. It's still, they're still working on that right now. Anything else, Jeff? Thank you. Thank you. What was your sleep schedule? Like, how did that work out for you? Like, when did you sleep today? So I finished my reports at about...